Hello and welcome to MWC 2018 in Barcelona. Advantech is back again this year, together with an ecosystem of partners displaying the latest in white box edge servers designed for network computing. Among the showcases was the iMEC demonstration at the ITRI booth. ITRI's intelligent mobile edge computing demo showed the impact of latency on applications that rely on remote data center compute. By deploying ITRI's iMEC on Advantech's packet Aaron Max LC, a new generation of ultra-low latency service-aware applications can be successfully deployed at the network edge. Advantex Packetarium XLC, an extremely dense and compact micro data center in a box with 288 Intel Xeon cores and large scale edge cloud storage capacities, runs Wind River Titanium Cloud and Trend Micro's VNF suite for traffic filtering. Together, they provide a fully carrier grade platform for ITRI's service offload and bandwidth management coupled with low latency application processing. And so now let's move over to the ITRI booth to take a look at the demo. Hey Jimmy. Hi Paul. How are you doing? How's the uh, booth? Fine. Yeah? Do you have uh, some good uh, demos, some good visits? Yes. Yeah? A lot of interest in the platform? Oh yes, very, 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 a lot of visit interest in our platform. Oh yeah, cool. Well, there's a lot of uh, awesome demos here at the ITRI booth anyway, so that's really good. This one particularly is your iMac platform. Yes. Can, you, can you tell us a little bit more about it? Okay, uh, let me introduce our iMac. Uh, our iMac is, uh, it is able to uh, minimize the operator's backhaul bandwidth and uh, provide an ultra low latency edge cloud platform. So our, our iMac have uh, the following spatial feature. The first is hybrid NFV platform support that can make the service provider to deploy a different type of NFV service such as vm based service, OpenStack, OpenNFV, and the Wind River, Titanic Cloud, or container-based service like DCOS. The second is simply service regression. Uh, because we do not go for the user changes habit to using any app. So uh, we can uh, directly let the user use his service by his UE, UE attached to a base station with iMac. The service will get the information or data directly from our iMac. The third is just in time service installation uh, because uh, our iMac is a light uh, distribute multi cloud. Uh, it has less resource than the data center, data center such as uh, computing resource, uh, storage resource. So the service cannot run me, is running always day at a day and just wait for the user to use it. So uh, when the service, the, uh, service provider deploys service on our iMac platform, the service is idle initially. And then just when the user, user requests this service, our iMac will notice the service will start for serving and uh, when the user starts to use the service for a while, our iMac will terminate the service and then release the resource for another service. Because the, our iMac is a 5G technology, but currently 5G space is not already not ready, so we integrate with the 4G commercial small cell and the 4G EPC to verify our IMAX function and the Google feature. So this time, MWC 2080, we use this demo to, to show the low latency feature of our IMAX. So we build a place to simulate an emergency place let the rescue and not arrive. So they have to use the remote machine and the robot with camera and the, the controller through the screen to handle the machine. Okay, so the low latency feature can so the low latency feature can help the help them to avoid any collision or the obstacle. So this this let's see we use this remote truck and with these two cameras 
one camera capture live video and send to the local local IMAX service and repair and show show here and another one another one capture live video back to the service we deploy in the data center in Taiwan and then show on the left train. Now I put the truck in our place and now I need my colleague one e to help us to demo please. Okay, so, so you can find the difference on this screen for the latency. The right one has low latency and the left one has more latency. And uh, by our iMac technology, the latency could be reduced at least 90%. So this is our demo. Thank you. Okay, now that looks cool. There's a, there's a huge difference between the two. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so the lag is how many seconds uh, by going back to the back, the, to the uh, back hauling to your data center? How, how uh, uh, is that? Oh, you mean the end to end latency? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the IMAC, if we adapt IMAC technology, the end to end latency is uh, at the most uh, 40 minutes. 40 minutes, because all the latency is. Uh, uh, it's only on the radio, 4G radio latency. Okay. Okay. The left one, the end-to-end -end latency is about 500, 500 milliseconds. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, and this is the platform here. Maybe we just continue recording. And uh, you, could you want to present the platform? Uh, this platform. So, this platform. Our, our currently our iMac platform is running our partner in the Bentex. Tech. This is a powerful machine running our iMac, our iMac, and uh, we all cooperate with the NFI platform, Wind River, Titanic Cloud, and uh, we deploy our service on it. And uh, this machine currently uh, connect, interoperate with the 4G small cell and uh, the whole network in Taiwan. So to make all the UE uh, attach and the uh, chip uh, can steering to this. I make on this machine. Okay, so that so this is a carrier grade platform yeah. with up to 288 uh, Intel Xeon D cores, yeah. so it's very scalable. It's scalable. For, okay, uh, 400 millimeter depth and uh, dual switch blades on the top and the bottom. Everything is redundant and it's NEBS uh, compliant. Yes. Okay, that's great. Hey. Jimmy, thank you very much for the uh, demo. Thank that was you, excellent. Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Have you have a good uh, end of MWC, yeah? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. If you'd like more information on the Advantech Packetarium XLC or the iMEC demo, please send an email to ncg at advantech.com or visit our website at www dot advantech dot com slash nc thank you